I do not want you to invest in Cleveland real estate, folks. Yeah, it's probably going to sound a little weird to you coming from me, right? But I don't want you buying a duplex in Cleveland. Instead, I want you to focus your investment efforts on this little town that we're going to get into right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is the MLS Search and Analysis Show, right? I work with people one-on-one -on -one to build real estate portfolios in the Cleveland real estate market, not just the city of Cleveland. I feel like a lot of people think Cleveland, only the city of Cleveland. No, I'm talking about the whole market. We got like, I don't know, between two and four million citizens. I don't have the little Googler in front of me at the moment. We got between like two and four million people in the greater Cleveland market, right? I don't have the number off the top of my head. Only like 350,000 of those folks live in Cleveland, right? So it's the greater Cleveland area. And I got a little area, a little city that nobody's heard about on the national stage that I think y'all should invest in. And that's who I, that's what I think my guy Tom from New York should invest in. Tom, you've been working with my team for quite some time now uh, to build your portfolio. We actually been managing properties for you for quite some time. And you reached out to me to do another deal, right? Uh, you were looking to either get into some low-income Cleveland Burr type stuff uh, or just like a good solid asset. But I don't really think it's going to make sense for you to do a Burr right now. What you need to understand, brother, is the market has definitely shifted quite a bit uh, from when you purchased your last properties from me, right? So with your budget and like what you're trying to do, I really don't think we're going to be able to accomplish your goal of picking up a solid Burr, right? Cleveland is just smoking too hot right now. And it's just not possible, which is really what leads me to this investment I've identified for you. This is an area that's been overlooked. And instead of spending all your cash on a burr, because not only is Cleveland smoking, what you have to understand, as I talked to you at the end of 2021, the market itself all over the world, all over the, well, I don't know about the world, but all over the United States, definitely in the Cleveland market, much higher, much hotter, much more of a seller's market than it was when you previously were buying your other rounds of investment properties from us, right? So finding a burr anywhere is going to be tough. Finding a burr in Cleveland, even tougher. So what I did is I come up with a best case scenario for you. Found you a nice, nice, nice duplex in a little area. C, high C, honestly, great area that's really off the radar. Let's get into the numbers on all that for you, Tom right after this. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the wicked get by the doors! Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, get into the details, man, because I don't want you buying in Cleveland, right? I don't want you to do it! No Cleveland! I love Cleveland, folks. I love the Cleveland market. But right now, I think we need to zig when other people are zagging, right? When a good Cleveland deal pops up, of course, I'll want to present it. But right now, I think a lot of people are missing on Illyria. Another place I like a lot is Lorraine. But let's talk Illyria today. I think a lot of people are missing on Illyria, man. Like, you know, this is Holden Wise TV, right? We got, as I talk to you, about 60,000 subscribers to the channel, right? And what we do, we talk real estate investing, and it's Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. And I'm not saying just because of our 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 Holton Wise TV or this or that, just because of Holton Wise, the whole world knows about Cleveland investing. I'm not saying that. Like, we have a decent part in it, don't get me wrong, but like national publications and things of that nature, people are always talking about Cleveland. When you read national articles like, what's the best real estate market for cash flow properties? What's the best for landlords? They always say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. So everybody from all over the world that's traveling to the best markets looking for that cash flow, they narrow in on Cleveland, on Cleveland, on Cleveland, right? But Cleveland is just a small city in the greater area, right? It's you know several million people 
are here, but only like 350,000 actually live in Cleveland, right? But, you know, you hear Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland this, Cleveland Rock Hall, like all this, right? Everybody just focuses on that. You forget about the suburbs and the surrounding cities. And one city that is just freaking slept on, dude, is Elyria. And that's why I got this one, 144 Abbey Road, Elyria, okay? Price, 89 grand. On the market, 67 days. Now, it was not on the market for 67 days, priced at 89 grand. They just dropped that, right? Had this been in Cleveland, it probably would have got picked up when it was the higher price, right? They had it uh, at like 100 Gs, right? In Cleveland, it probably would have got scooped up, right? But in Elyria, because there's just so much fewer investors paying attention, this old bitch didn't get scooped up. But now that it's at 89, I think it will definitely get scooped up. So I want you to come in hot. 90 grand, right? Come in 90 grand because I think they will get multiple offers now, right? Had to spend in Cleveland proper, which in my opinion, a lot of the C-grade neighborhoods that I work in, in Cleveland itself, are probably a little bit lower quality tenant base than what you get out here in Elyria. But you would have had to pay about 10 grand more had you done it in Cleveland just because there's more supply of buyers out there because more people are aware of it, right? You can't buy something if you don't know it's for sale. You know what I'm saying? This property, already got two tenants in there, okay? Now, both tenants are paying under market rent, just so you're aware. Both tenants are currently paying $550. We will want to slowly increase their rents up to market rate. We don't want to cause them to move out by immediately going to market rate, which is $750 a unit. So when we get it up to market, fifteen hundo comes in, eighteen k for the year, right? We don't just immediately go. Uh, with a huge $200 increase because that will cause them to move out. Then we got to, like, repaint their unit. Like, everything looks good in these units right now, right? But there's a lot of carpet in these units, man. When we move those beds, those couches, things of that nature, like, is there going to be, like, a spot where the couch was where it's, like, just, like, a shade lighter than the rest? If that's the case, we're going to have to replace it, of course, right? So you want to avoid unnecessary turnovers. But we should be able to just slowly get them up, right? But that's what you should focus on, the long-term cash flow of this property, right? So 15 hundo comes in. You should spend approximately eight thirty, having my team manage it completely passive, right? That's approximately eight thousand twenty nine a year, right? If you pay ninety, you only got to put down twenty two and a half, man. That's it, twenty two and a half, twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. Bank kicks in the under sixty seven. Long term projections here: twenty one percent cash on cash return, man. On top of that, Elyria, in my opinion, another reason you should focus on Elyria, because hey, we're zagging, other people are zagging. Uh, the city. Dealing with the city is a lot easier than dealing with the city of Cleveland, to be honest with you. They're a lot more landlord-friendly. You know what's going to make you money? Owning a property in a landlord-friendly area, right? Ohio, why do you guys come to Ohio? Because it's a red state, right? Well, guess what? Elyria is a hell of a lot more of a red city than Cleveland is, okay? So uh, all that stuff. Like even Cleveland's got the new lead laws and stuff. You don't have to deal with that kind of crap in Elyria, right? So my opinion, prices are lower. Tenant base a little bit better. And city, a little bit more landlord-friendly. For all those reasons, I think Elyria, Elyria is the hot spot, right? So now that they've dropped us down to 89, I think now we come in aggressive. 90K, and I think it's a banger of a deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.